Okay, now the first technique I'm going to show you today is how to draw using isometric paper. Okay, and this is probably one of the simplest methods you can use to create an isometric drawing. Once I've drawn the form and shape of this uh, object, I will add shading. There we go. Now, it's always best to begin with simple shapes if you're drawing isometric drawings for the first time. So as you can see here, start the simple shape. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add some tone. I can do this with a very simple shading. Add some darker shading, pressing harder with the pencil. This will create that three dimensional effect with the drawing. As you can see here, I'm going to make this slightly darker. Again, here. And again here. As you can see, what this gives you is a simple three dimensional shape, which is slightly different from uh, perspective. Now, isometric drawings can be drawn in various ways. Obviously, the simplest method, as we're showing here, is to use isometric grid paper. Now, you can also use set squares, 6030 set squares, which are ideal for this drawing technique, which you use the angles on the set square to draw the guidelines, which will enable you to draw using this isometric viewpoint. Additionally, you can draw freehand, 
which I will show in the next clip. I'm really focusing on the shadows here and this really enables the shadows to stand out. As you can see. So we've got here is an isometric drawing on isometric graph paper. Right, so here we have uh, the isometric drawing on isometric, drawn on isometric graph paper. The next technique is to draw freehand. Now the easiest way to do this is to use a ruler to draw a simple rectangle, which I'll show you here. Now you can use the ruler to draw the outline. And everything beyond this point will be drawn freehand. Now what you will need to consider here are the points, these points, corner points here. And what I want you to do is just to join those points with a line, a freehand line, a guideline. Now the thing with guidelines is to draw them very lightly and faintly. Let's try and get that done. If you need to move your hand around or the paper around just to make it a little bit more comfortable always helps. One of the things I always tell my students to do is to move the paper around because it can become a little bit awkward when you've got to draw this way. So turn it around, it makes it far more relaxed. Okay, now I want you to consider the angles here, this angle and this. Okay, and you'll be using these angles to create your drawing and you'll also be using the vertical edges this way. Okay, so this angle and this angle. Okay, so we're going to start off with a very simple basic shape again because these are obviously the easiest uh, drawings that you can create and once you obviously can create these uh, with confidence you can progress on to drawing more complex shapes so this is a simple cube so i'm going to start off today with the outlines here and what you will notice is i'm going to basically Keep the same angle here. This is all drawn freehand, no ruler. Again, the guidelines are drawn very, very lightly and faintly. And then obviously, once you get that shape correct, you can progress onto adding further detail on the drawing. For example, adding another level. Again, you'll notice all of the lines are at the same angle as this central guideline which enables you to draw using the isometric method now you will find sometimes that you draw over the edge of the grid that doesn't really matter as long as you're getting the correct uh, perspective here so this is almost like a three-dimensional step here. Now what I'm going to just do here, this is a linear drawing, a line drawing. I'm not going to add any tone to this drawing, but I am going to emphasize the edges of the shape. And this is all drawn freehand without any type of ruler. As you can see. Okay, now you can take it a stage further if you wish by adding additional shapes onto the shape that you've already drawn. 
for example, here at the end. These can be made to look even more complex. Okay, so at this stage, it's a really good idea just to emphasize those lines beyond the construction lines. And this will just allow the shape that you're drawing just to stand out a little bit more. From what you've drawn. So there we have a, a freehand isometric drawing drawn within the grid formation, which is obviously slightly different from the original drawing we had here on the isometric grid paper. So there's two methods of drawing isometric sketches. Thank you for watching.